hey and welcome to my channel this is going to be a little bit of a different um kind of video and judging from the title i'm going to be sharing more um of my personal opinion on what it's been like to grow in my faith as well as uh, my micro, micro locks journey so um if this is your first time here and you are not um a fan or you know if this is not your type of content i totally understand um i hope you can move on without any harsh comments or you know uh expressions but yeah this is just me expressing myself and what i really feel about having micro locks and how that ties into my faith so basically um i know a lot of people who actually know me in person feel like i'm shoving down my micro locks journey in their face you know when i'm say posting on my personal um platforms or my personal um social media like my whatsapp or my facebook accounts and um to be honest it's never been a thing about um showing off or trying to um uh push micro locks on anyone but it's something that i wish i would have seen in the society i come from where um locks were so undermined and so underappreciated people you know talked down on locks where i come from you know they would they would actually refer to locks as you know being a lazy hairstyle for lazy people and most of the time people would throw me these underhanded comments like yeah i don't like locks but yeah yours are fine yours are fine i like them they look clean and i'd be like okay you clearly have not done enough research and have not seen the best of the locked hair community in order for you to make that kind of a judgment so that being said I don't I want to keep this uh short and sweet and so I'm going to break it down in different parts but for this first video I'm going to talk about yeah my faith journey and my locks. So my micro locks in particular I did start them at a different stage of my faith journey and I have talked about my belief in God. I think when I did a uh video on homeschooling my kids and what kind of um curriculum I was basing uh teaching them on so that out of the way I am a follower of Christ and even now more serious than I ever was before um I'm 33 now I just turned 33 so it's been a long journey you know from childhood to adulthood and that's like a whole different you know video for another day but when it comes to my micro locks journey and my faith journey i really believe that the connection and what has made me appreciate my hair in its natural state more is just understanding how much um god's love for me really ties into the way he created me and in order for me to not veer off so far as to look different or chase a certain beauty standard i feel like i have been honoring god in keeping my hair in its locked state i think i took a step back um in my in my formative years actually i really did not like the idea of wearing um wigs or weaves i did wear a lot of protective styling with synthetic um hair like you know braiding and stuff and when i finally got to my postgraduate years i was yeah experimenting and so i bought a couple of wigs which i would wear for over a course of 2 years on and off very rarely on <laughs> like literally baby to take photos and also to attend a few events and at that time I was actually starting my first lock journey that was um maybe 8 years ago so yeah in a nutshell I have always been about wearing my own hair where whether that whether I was relaxed or 
lose natural and then decided to embark on my lock journey the first time but the second time around with my micro locks i felt i felt like i really did not want to go far off and um be tempted to start to wear hair um and most especially human hair there was this extreme pressure around the time i was studying my micro locks to look a certain way to have a certain type of um expensive wigs and expensive um extensions and it just wasn't me you know i always felt like even if i was in a position to invest that much in someone else's hair why can't i invest the same way in my own hair and and see it grow and see it thrive except through micro locks so um i think the freedom that micro locks gives me is that i'm not obsessing over my loose natural hair what am i doing next what protective styling i'm doing what routine i'm going through you know like wash a day should never take the the entire day and styling should never take you know another 3 days um i do of course take long when i'm retightening my hair but i just feel that it gives me more time to sit back and and do other things and um in my relationship and my walk with god i genuinely feel that having micro locks has been a way of me um loving myself and appreciating the way god made me and not to say any other hairstyle is not honoring god but that is my opinion that is how i feel and that's why i have um stood strong on maintaining this particular hairstyle so i'm not just championing this empty cause i'm really all about a person embracing um even the bad hair days and the awkward hair days and the awkward phases but knowing that this is your inner beauty and this is where where it comes from and you love it and you're trying your best to invest in it and take care of your god-given hair so yeah it's kind of why i feel really offended when people ask me when i will take down my locks and when i will cut my locks and they'll have like a whole head of human hair of someone else's hair and i'll be like i don't think that that is um the right question you should be asking me but of course even when i'm offended i just take it as um this person is probably misinformed or um just lacks the proper education um about why people do lock their hair so that's part 1 i hope i made sense and if this is something you do appreciate me talking about please give me a comment and if it's something that you want to know more, more about i will be doing a, a part 2 or part 3 however many i can do just talking about my faith journey and what it means for me on my micro locks journey as well So thank you for listening and um I'll see you next time or talk to you next time. <laughs>